American Financing, saving homeowners over 800 bucks every month by using your home's equity to pay off high interest debt. American Financing, America's home for home loans. AmericanFinancing.net slash progress. Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. By the way, thank you. I've been talking about this all morning because, as you know, I just interred my mom with my dad at Arlington. And I'm, I've already, I was already... I just felt sick to my stomach anytime he's been there. But this thing yesterday, you just wrote a piece. How the hell was Trump allowed to use Arlington National Cemetery as a campaign prop? You said, luckily for the former president's campaign, it wasn't raining Monday when he grotesquely used Arlington as a campaign prop. Because as we know, he gets a little nervous around soldiers' graves in the rain. And he says things that require him to lie his ass off later. So the sun was out and shining as this third generation draft dodger pretended to care about soldiers who were suckers and losers enough to get killed during the the United States withdrawal from its Afghanistan adventure. How in hell was this allowed to happen is beyond me. Arlington is the country's most hallowed ground. Thank you. And not just because my dad's buried there, but, you know, because it is. And it, There are 400, there are somewhere north of 400 Medal of Honor winners right. buried at Arlington. Yeah, right. And this is the guy who compared it unfavor, the Medal of Honor unfavorably to a medal he, like, hung on the neck of Rush Limbaugh. And the wife of one of his big donors, one of his casino cronies, like a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. And who I, in the hell does a, a smiling thumbs up at a grave site? Him. Yeah, him. Uh, you said, but to allow itself to be used for the purpose of propping up one of the Republican Party's most noxious half-truths as promulgated by its most noxious elements, personified by its most noxious candidate, is an insult to those over 400 Medal of uh, Honor awardees. Yeah. Uh, it, and I, you know, like you said, Charlie, I don't know if the families, I I feel bad for these poor families, the poor fireman's wife yeah. that, you know, got used for him to, to tongue the dead fireman's helmet. Ugh, I mean, it just, he's so disgusting. I guess we should expect nothing else, but. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, if they got some solace out of it, then okay, I got no problem. You know, I, I, I still think it's revolting, but I hope they, I hope they got some solace out of it because otherwise the whole exercise would be disgusting. Yeah. yeah. But as you sort of ended, you said, as a citizen of the United States, therefore someone with a stake in places like Arlington, I choose to look upon his presence there as obscene. Thank you. It's ours. Arlington is, again, is yeah. our, our side. It's not his. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not like the family plot or the right. first hole at Bedminster. Right. Yeah. <laughs> where you can bury anybody you want, you know? Yeah. By the way, you also pointed out in his stupid statement, you said, wait, you, you take out the weaponry before you take out the soldiers? There seems to be a major flaw in that plan. I mean, and first of all, this whole thing I mean, was I his fault. I mean, I there are a lot of rocks in Afghanistan, but you don't want your soldiers throwing rocks at the Taliban. Right. Um, and by the way, do we, ha we have this one, General McMaster, we're talking about Afghanistan, speaking of which. And they cut the Afghan government out of those negotiations, right? Absolutely. So that was mistake one. Then forced them to, to release 5,000 of some of the most heinous people on earth. And then began to The Trump to administration withdraw. forced the Afghan government to release 5,000 Taliban. Correct. And, you know, we know that this was his plan that he boxed Biden into. I mean, so just that's another level of disgusting besides him giving a thumbs up at a grave, right? Yeah, and by the way, heinous is a word that doesn't get used enough. Right. No. It I like but I like General McMaster's. The whole the Trump administration has been heinous. Yes. Of the thousands of the most heinous people on earth. Yeah. Um, so here's one thing we were talking about. You just mentioned a donor's wife that he gave the medal to. I love that not only has the Harris uh, camp raised $11 billion, it's from small... Mm -hmm. small donations and i love charlie that someone said she's not beholden to big donors anymore the big donors are not calling the shots anymore this is 500 and something million dollars i mean and she's not letting herself be beholden to the mainstream media's demands for how and when she answers their questions right yeah i i, I mean someone's gonna someone's gonna have to gonna have to check uh on chris Eliza because i think they're gonna need the jaws of life to get him off the ceiling I know. I mean, it's a whole different every, campaign. Every second or third day, we have to hear about how she hasn't given a press conference. Right. 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 And she, she has doesn't have to do anything. Right. right. And I said this, I don't know if I said it on the show, but I know I've said it on the ex Twitter. Uh, sports writers learn this like in the first two or three weeks on the job. They don't need you, mm -hmm. they right. are not obligated. 
to talk to you. They're running a whole different campaign, Charlie, right from how they're, you know, uh, we keep saying it's run by feral 25-year-olds on their social media, but to how their their press releases read. I mean, I love the just releasing Trump t- backing out of the debate to chicken sounds. I mean, they're just, they are just going, you know, balls to the walls. Can we say I've, that? I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. I've heard that, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, 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 because they, they've, that's because they've got dad's permission. Right. <laughs> you know, they go to Tim Waltz and dad says, yeah, go ahead, use the chicken noises. But this sums it up. Jay tweeted. I'm going. I'm going to the dog park now. Yeah. Jay tweeted. He gave he gave people permission to hate. She's giving people permission to love. Love always wins. I mean, sorry. Who wrote the New York Times piece? Joy's not a strategy. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> So's hope. <laughs> what do you think Obama won on? You know, I I, I just it, I think people are just done with this spin. I mean, if, if joy is not a strategy, I mean, is gloom a strategy? I guess. I, mean, I don't know. I yeah. mean, that was, I think it was Patrick Healy who has roots in Boston, alas. But that was just, that was, and if you come right down, if you actually read the column beyond the really ugly and awful headline, all it is is another appeal for a press conference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Victor, she tweeted, boom, the perfect response from Kamala Harris's campaign to Trump on the debate. Our understanding is that Trump's handlers prefer the muted microphone because they don't think their candidate can act presidential for 90 minutes. Trump should stop hiding behind the mute button. I mean, I knew he was going to do this, didn't you? He was going to start, you know, pussing out of this debate. What's your guess right now on what's going to happen? Oh, I, 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 I still think he'll go through with it. I, uh, I think ultimately hubris will win out. Over yeah, hopefully success. arrogance. I hopefully mean, that's arrogance. Always, that's always the way to bet with this guy. So, you know, sooner or later it will kick in again that he's smarter than everybody else in the world. Yeah. So he'll, you know, get out there. I hope so. I hope his arrogance that he thinks he's way smarter than she is, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. you know, pushes him to, to do this. Well, not just that. He's, I mean, he's got to know at this point that, uh, you know, anything he does will find... Uh, you know, find support among the mainstream media. If he just stands there for an hour and a half and, and, and you know, throws out, you know, the occasional, you know, golden oldie joke, you know, we'll hear about how, or, or you know, plays on the, the people he was with at Arlington yesterday, you know, he'll, we'll, we'll, we'll read that he is, he's pivoted to a more serious candidate. <laughs> Right. If I have to hear, yeah, if I hear that word pivot, <laughs> I lose my shizzle. Yeah, I just thought, yeah, Ben summed it up. He said, if the guy who loves talking over people is objecting to a debate because he can talk over people, you know he's scared of the person he wants to talk over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, right, Mr. No Puppet, No Puppet, you're the puppet. <laughs> you're the puppet, you're the puppet, no puppet, no puppet, no, 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 puppet, no puppet. No puppet, no puppet. No puppet. <laughs> Sorry, Hal, we'll be, unplug- we'll be unplugging you now. <laughs> Dave. Really? I really Daisy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charlie. A delight to see you in person, sir. It is. Uh, and, with, I, and I, I was even early for my shift. You were. I know. You we were. got you. We got extra time with you. So uh, no, let's make it I less know, than four got, years. We got to. We got to wave at famous people as they went by. That was nice positioning, by the way. I know, right? Exactly. Everybody in the hall had to like get within like diving range of you. That's yeah. right. Well, if I wasn't tethered to the to the board by headphones, I would have d- tackled Governor Whitmer. But I was otherwise. Oh, I'm, I'm, surpri- I'm surprised the the Pennsylvania State Police didn't clap you in irons when <laughs> when Governor Shapiro walked by. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love you, Charlie Pierce. See you in four. See you in years, guys. American Financing, saving homeowners over 800 bucks every month by using your home's equity to pay off high interest debt. American Financing, America's home for home loans. AmericanFinancing.net slash progress.